All right. And we're going to pretty much do the same thing for our save and quit. So if file name dot trim dot content equals if not we're going to system exit now if we run our application it should run the way we want it to that is if you save and you press OK save cancelled save cancelled good because it detects that our file name is not null but it, it, it's, it's, it's equal to this so this returns true but we negate that so this whole thing if block is false and if it's false it's not going to go inside inside the statement where we actually save is going to go here save cancelled now it's actually test for uh, save cancel save cancel save and quit okay save canceled because we didn't put anything there cancel save canceled put something like one or two okay and actually save the file for us again let's do it again let's say uh, one two cancel save canceled one two it still save it over it overwrote our our save file now that's too dangerous our user might have stored a hell of a lot of data inside this 12.ser and then he starts a new he starts he starts a new instance of our application and then he creates a new library and then he saves and saves at the, uh, with the same name he's gonna overwrite his old save file and basically is gonna sue us if if uh, or you know complain to us that hey I've, I've saved so many files and now it's gone because you guys didn't prompt me if I want to replace a currently saved file in the same directory so what we're gonna do is actually when we're saving the file we want to detect when, they, when the user presses OK we want to detect if there's already a file name in our current directory that has the same name as the user as the user put inside this text field so let's do that real quick it's very simple and the way we're gonna do this is just go over to the top of our library system and we're gonna declare another file we're gonna say file save file and again we're just gonna go to our init event attributes initialize that to null save file equals null and go down again to our save here now what we're gonna do is instead of instead of instead of uh, this as our uh, parameter to file out with stream we're gonna create a new file we're gonna say fi save file equals new file with the following name I'm just gonna cut this and we're gonna pass in this file, the save file here now there are different constructors that's why we can pass in a string or a save file but now we wanna check before we create this, we wanna check if if save file already exist exist and let me just show you guys the uh, documentation for this I know you can just read it on your own in your own computer but let me actually show you what it says here it says it tests whether file directory denoted by this abstract path name exists alright so if the save file exists already If it does not exist, we're actually going to execute our serialization sequence. However, if the file does exist, else if the file already exists, we're going to prompt the user that, hey, do you want to override this? Else, 
and this we're gonna do that by J option pane and I'm, I know I'm, I'm getting a little bit messy here but bear with me for uh, the time being J option pane dot show confirm dialog parent component is gonna be our parent component is gonna be not our screen but no actually yeah parent component is our screen And it's going to be uh, do you wish to overwrite? Sorry, file with this name already exist. Overwrite it. Let's put a new line here. Save file does exist. If it exists, okay, good. If it does not exist, we'll go here. Save file with this name already exists, overwrite it. Actually, you haven't used this confirm, show confirm dialog yet. This is actually my first time using it. Um, <clears throat> so if you just give me a moment to figure out what I need to do here. All right, I want you guys to delete what we just did and we're going to use a different uh, constructor for the J option pane that we're going to use. So show confirm dialog and you want to pick the one that has the parameter option type. This one right here. The parent component again is a screen. Message is going to be file name already exist new line overwrite it the title of our dialog frame is going to be warning option type now the option type is going to be let's see here option type an integer designating so we just want the yes no option here so we're going to copy this copy and it's, since it's a con j option constant what we're going to do is a j option pane dot yes no option the message type is going to be again let's check that out thank you eclipse message type an integer so we want the warning message here. Copy. J option pane dot paste. And then semicolon, control shift F. Now since this is going to return an integer, we're going to want to say int result code equals this thing.